Good morning everybody. Today we're going to be testing for a fuel inlet restriction on this Cummins X15. Um, he has a code 559 that uh, indicates a problem with the fuel system. So we're going to first check with the suction side and our low pressure fuel pump just to uh, make sure all that's good and that we don't have any blockage going into our fuel assembly for the engine. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're gonna need is just a couple tools. Gonna need this fuel line with the copy check fitting. There's a part number right there. 3164621. Gonna need this tool here, part number, to go into the fuel pump. And we're gonna need a vacuum gauge. I'm gonna unthread that and Hook it up to here. Then we're gonna need a bucket to catch fuel because I'm gonna hook this hose right into this compu check fitting right there. All right, let's wrap this in the rags because this is all greasy. So this fitting here is the uh, inlet side to the pressure side fuel filter. I'm just gonna. This has no cap on it, this is an older engine, I just have to spray it with some penetrant just so this fitting fits on there better. Now we're installing this so we could, we're able to run this test without actually putting the engine under load. It's going to be our drain. So the other end of this is going to go into our bucket to catch any of the fuel. So let's hook that up and then uh, hook the other line up. You know that that line's all hooked up. Got to go ahead and hook this line up. You got to hook it up to the left side of the pump. That uh, red connector right down there, right there. And to pull that off, you're gonna see there's two clips on either side. Not really clips, but like tangs that you push in. There's a couple different tools we could use for that depending on how easy the access is. Got this style, it's 90. This style, that's straight, or these pliers here. Um, these ones here are from Snap-on. And uh, I thought there'd be a part number on them, but it doesn't look like there is. Or a tool number. This tool here is, I'm not sure if that's a part number or not, I bought these a while ago. I'm going to go ahead, remove that, plug that in, in line. So I'm going to plug the one end into the pump, the other end into that line. And then I got, uh, just running out of real estate here. All right, got my vacuum gauge. Yeah, that's a royal pain in the rear, but I found this straight one to work. I have it wedged in there, as you can see. Just put, pushing those clips in on either side of that fuel line. So I should just be able to push up and it come out. There we go. So yeah, I got that fuel line out. I'm gonna remove my tool. Now I'm going to have to situate this where I can hook the other one up and then plug the other end in this line that's off. So I'll go ahead and finagle that. Got the line all hooked up there. Had to hook it up, loop it down and back up around to connect back into the fuel line. And then got my vacuum gauge teed in and coming out here. So we're all hooked up and ready for the test. Got that hooked up, going into my bucket. And yeah, we're ready to uh, measure restriction. Fuel system primed after a couple key cycles. Hey, it started up.
restriction was good. Anything under 10 inches of water is in spec and we had like two and a half. But I did notice we had a lot of air bubbles. So I'm just gonna check for aeration. We've got a clear container here. Some air bubbles is normal, but uh, it looks like we had an excess. So we're just priming the system again. We're gonna fire it up. Uh, can you start it again, please? Clear. Can you run right to the floor? Took a while, but we're leaking air now. 